Oh, you're level so, 10. Are we on, like, Sinister Six? Is that what's happening now? Um, I will not confirm nor deny. There were literally six villains in the lower left corner of the screen that were also members of the Sinister Six. I did not see that. And that says <laughs> six? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing here. And there's six of us in this room right now. Excuse me? Who are the, who are the other who are, two? Who are the other three? What? Uh, Her what? Herman and Cortez. Uh, no, I thought both their names were David. <laughs> <laughs> David Copperhead. Copperhead. And, and David... Rattlesnake. Uh, <laughs> I was going to try to think of like a weird ass moccasin. Make up a last name. That uh, sounds like a last name, but it's not even a name. Uh, Finkeltunt. I like, I like it. It's got a... Yeah. It, it rhymes with one of my favorite words ever. I'll just say that. I, just, I don't want to get you guys in trouble. Put you in YouTube jail. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube jail? jail. Oh. Uh, actually, everyone starts out in YouTube jail. It's those who get out are the ones that yeah. are successful. That's true. We're in just permanent jail. Mercury. This is YouTube is a lot like uh, purgatory. Something like uh, there's no end in sight. Uh, nothing ever really changes while everything is somehow punishing you. You're just shouting into the darkness, like, like and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like just limbo. The abyss. It's just you only have a loincloth. You can only <laughs> hope for salvation. There, <laughs> or damnation. One of the two. It's about as exciting as a museum can get. Yeah. Hey, now, I like, Nicholas Cage. I like museums. The, Nicholas Cage is the only living person who's made museums exciting for me. <laughs> <laughs> what and about Ben Stiller? Yeah. No. Fuck Ben Stiller. I'm sorry. I I don't like those movies. Night at the Museum. I've only seen the first one. Movies. Find a kangaroo. Make him your true enemy. Vanquish him <laughs> and feast on his meat in front of his children. <laughs> in front of his children. <laughs> While his children are still yeah. in the pouch. And then you can then, and then you can resume your normal life at PETA. Yeah. No one will know. <laughs> at PETA. At PETA. No one will oh know. Oh my god. You, you said Schadenfreude, correct? Schadenfreude, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Schadenfreude. For those of you who don't know, um, it's a type of cheese. <laughs> that's better. That's better. It's, it comes from France, primarily. It's, yeah, it it's, sounds real it's French. It's made from the milk of kangaroos. It doesn't sound German oh, at all. I didn't all. know they had kangaroos in France. I didn't know you could milk kangaroos until I tried Schadenfreude cheese. You can milk anything with a tit. You can. I have. You can milk I have a mammal. I have nipples. John Michael, can you milk me? You. You yes. can milk coconuts. <laughs> yes, I can. Do you want me to? Because <laughs> it'll work. I mean, it's about to get real weird. <laughs> well, I think that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> hey, Cameron. What's up? Have you seen that literal Spider-Man video on YouTube? It's it's a it's a comedy of a parody of Spider-Man where a dude shoots webs actually out of his asshole. <laughs> what? Where he's stopping no. crime, if, but he shoots the webs out of his butthole. He's swinging by his ass. Mm -hmm. And the guy's like, oh, why do you have a hole in your butthole? Because he's like in the full Spider-Man costume, except there's a hole <laughs> right there so he can shoot webs out of it. Oh my it's actually God. really funny and really well done. Can you imagine the way he would swing? If if that was the case. If that was the case. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like LOL. Really cool. Like LOL. <laughs> I mean, LMAO. Bootylicious. Lit. Like that. That's in the dictionary. Lit? No, bootylicious. On fleek is in the dictionary? <laughs> it will be. That's fleeked on right there. So is yeet. <laughs> it will be. Yeet? They all will be. All we have to do is keep saying them. I hate when, like... Dictionaries? Me too. E well, yes. But I hate so space in school when uh, English teachers would be like, you can't use this word, it's slang. And then they're like, please open up your Shakespearean play <laughs> and let's all talk slang for fucking two hours. Like, it's all... He made up everything he said. <laughs> like... Remember the only time I ever made the entire class laugh was when I read the words "What ho?" <laughs> from from an, a Shakespearean. What we, were, ho? we were reading from Shakespeare, and literally my line was "What ho?" That was it. Yeah, and everybody laughed, and then the teacher was like, oh, "Steven."
Be- oh, uh, by the way, I convinced my teacher my name was Steven. Like she <laughs> she thought not. my name was Steven for the longest time. <laughs> that sounds That's like amazing. something of your own entertainment you would do to a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did, yeah. If I can make a recommendation to everyone in this room and uh, all those at home watching, if you ever get the chance... To see a live magic, like stage magic show, go see fucking Hans Clock. Hans, Hans Clock. Clock. Hans Clock hey, changed no, my life when I saw him on stage. I've heard of him. Um, and it wasn't even like uh. So I I studied and and practiced magic for like Sorry. most of my life. I still kind of dabble in it every once in a while and like kind of keep up with. What's new and hip in the magic world? Shin uh, Lim. Because I didn't have friends. And uh, <laughs> and you say it's swage all the time, which is really annoying. It's true. <laughs> which uh, which <laughs> that might have to do with why you don't have that many friends. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> and so I saw him, and there wasn't anything in his show that I didn't know how it was done. There really wasn't. But he did it so well that it was just beautiful. It was like art. It was it was an experience. Like I got emotional. <laughs> Have you been watching uh, Shin Lim on America's Got Talent? Shin Lim can get it. Okay, Shin Lim is the future of magic. Right? Holy crap! He, he wrote. I love really him. Yeah, he wrote Schindler's List. Shin Lim's list. Shin Lim's yeah. list. Yeah. Shin Lim's. Can you list Shin Lim's statistics? <laughs> list Shin Lim's statistics. Oh, that's so Fisk. difficult. <laughs> Fisk. Fisk. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't connect that last part. But, that's okay. Um, Shin Lim. Shin Lim's Fisk. Uh, he's really amazing. He does silent magic. Right, yeah, he does. Silent magic? What, yeah. uh, I haven't seen so any of this. He, will, he, <laughs> so he won't doesn't speak. talk during his performance at all. I like it. And okay. he just like does gestures, and, and he, he just like waits and, and for it, people to like, it's participate. it's synced to like, music? Oh. It's beautiful. I think I've seen one of those uh, pop up online. It's, he, it's he was on really, Penn & Teller's Fool Us. That's, that's where cool. I've heard of him. Yeah. And now he's on America. Uh, did he win? I know that he was like, he was in the like finals. Yeah, and the finals just happened. Like, I don't recently. know if he won. Two days ago, America's Got Talent winner Shin Lim. That's awesome. A magical ten-year journey turning hobby into career. That was an article I just found. Good for him. That's cool. So he won America's Got Talent. That's awesome. I hate false <laughs> clickbait articles where yep. it's like. Where like it says something, you're like, oh, "What no. the fuck?" And you just want to know because it sounds stupid. And then you click it, and it takes you to a whole different website. And all of a sudden, you have like 20 viruses on your computer. Oh no, Cameron, watch out for the negative ogres. Negative they're gonna ogres. be like, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you'll never make it unless you go back to college." So negative. Oh. Yeah, I hate it when people just are always negative. Like, God, the, there's no hope for this country. Luckily, the negative ogres oh. have layers. So. The economy's. Just destroyed. Yeah, but where's Mrs. Negative? Dead. <laughs> that's that's what Mr. Negative asks himself every night. He's Nobody. Like, sure, I'm an accomplished supervillain, but where's Miss Negative? No one ask. No one asks how's Mr. Negative. <laughs> Everyone ever always asks why Mr. Negative. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's because opposites attract, and he needs a Miss Positive. <laughs> a Mrs. <Fuck> you. Positive. <laughs> I'll let myself. <laughs> I basically give anybody who's anybody my credit card. <laughs> you, if you wanted to be on the street right now, like, oh, you, you can't go down this way, but, I mean, unless you, like, pay, so just... And you just pull out a phone with, like, a little square attached to it, and be like, oh, okay, it's like 50 cents? You'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever, idiot. And then I'll hand you my credit card. You know what's great is I'm somebody. You should give me your credit card. <laughs> I mean, I already gave you a laptop. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's actually true. He did today. Thank you. I appreciate you. It's no. It's probably worth like three hundred total. I mean, that's it. still yeah. pretty good. That's, yeah, you could almost get the PS4 Spider-Man. Like, yeah. <laughs> but you still couldn't. Do you see my problem? I would still try and trade it, though. Do you see my problem? Like, I know you needed it for school, but you should trade it in. You know? <laughs> Don't, I not, didn't mean to scream into yeah, the mic get, there. I'm Cameron, also, and get really like sorry. four copies of Spider-Man and just be like, oh, look at my Spider-Man And not collection. give a single one to John Michael. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Fucking hate you. Uh, <laughs> you could buy like nice camera lighting equipment and shit and just not let I, him use it. Jeez. I like legitimately uh, remember them announcing this game 
and I was like, oh, sweet. I can't wait to get it on PC. <laughs> and then the end of the trailer was like, PS4, PS4 exclusive. And I was like, okay, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> what year did the PS2 come out? Does anybody know? It was like um, 2001. In the year 2000. I no, wanted to it, say like 01, 02, yeah. somewhere in there. It, it had well, to be a, oh, like 2000 or two or 01, because 02 been, was my favorite motocross game. Uh, Let's see, what um, year? Kingdom Hearts 1 came out in 2001. Did yeah. pretty sure yes. yes. PS2 and two, it's gotta be two oh two. Two thousand. Two thousand. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If this I was the price is right, I would have won. Uh sure. e exactly yeah. one month before your birthday, uh, Stuart. So March fourth. So March fourth. Nice. March fourth, two thousand. Uh so yeah, I got a uh I got a PS two uh Christmas two thousand. And they're still making them <laughs> in Japan, at least. Holy they stopped. Shit. They stopped making them a little while ago here in America, but in Japan, they just stopped like Hope last so. month. That's crazy. Yeah. Do y'all remember the advertising for the original Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire and the one commercial where he had the giant webs in between the two towers from that, like, oh between, yeah, the twin towers? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Remember yeah, that, that was a real thing. And then 9/11 happened, and then there, I only saw the ad once in my entire life. And then they took it off after 9-11. That, that ad is Did on you know YouTube. That the reason that Lilo and Stitch was delayed so long, like it was supposed to come out like a year before it actually did. Oh, you're talking about the ship thing? Was because the what? The ship thing? How they had to change the the crashing plane oh, yeah. into a spaceship? They had to uh reanimate the entire like final sequence. Because it was supposed to be that, like, that they had, like, commandeered an airplane and were flying it, like, between buildings in downtown Honolulu. Oh, wow. And mm -hmm. then 9-11 happened, and they were like, we can't it's a little too have hot right that, now. have a plane flying through a city. So they had to reanimate the entire last sequence, That's and it insane. took forever. I did, I did not know that. Yeah, and there's they have the original footage still of like because it was done, like they did it. Yeah, and the movie was like ready to ship, and then they were like, Ooh. <laughs> like can't do that. I don't think J.J. Abrams directed the first movie. <laughs> no, Sam Raimi did. No. Danny Elfman directed it. <laughs> no, Christopher Columbus Close. directed it after he... This again. Yeah. <laughs> he killed the Indians. You know what else Christopher Columbus directed? Mm. Sacagawea? The Plague on the Indians. No. Well, you're close. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And the Chamber of Secrets. And Chamber of Secrets, yes. Okay, who is Christopher Columbus? Oh, and There's he a also guy. Actor. He's a director, a movie he is, director. His name is Christopher his Columbus. His name is literally Christopher Columbus. That's fucking ridiculous. He did Home Alone, and he did the first two Harry Potter movies. <laughs> I was trying to... Th I, I, I thought of another example, and now it's, like, oh, 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 it's uh, gone. Kanye West, where he's just... The theme is just he's trash. No, his daughter. <laughs> Northwest. Northwest. Oh, it's close. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kim West, his wife. Gross. <laughs> I went to Barnes and Noble the other day, and there's a book of just Snapchats from yes. Kim Kardashian, and there's some nudes in there. I think we should just restart society. You think so? I think we should just burn it to the yeah, ground. I think there's a big red button done. somewhere that says uh, Below, uh, society I resets. Think I think we've reached peak society. We just, don't need it anymore. It just keeps we getting just, wackier. Well, like, speaking yeah. of ending society, I need to go home. Oh shit! Yeah, it's like a, it's pretty late. Don't is it? Yeah, Why? I I have to get up real early tomorrow morning. Oh okay. Well, well, that's it then. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks yeah, for nothing. Everybody. Thanks for nothing. Nothing. Um, <laughs> don't forget to lick, commit, and submarine. Lick, commit. Well, can we can we beat these guys? First? I like two out of those three. No, things. let's do this final fight scene. Yeah. When, no. And then we can cut the video in the middle of it so it's like a cliffhanger. Well, this is actually a better cliffhanger right now. Oh that uh, cool. no! That's <laughs> that's the end. Web explosions. Web explosion. Oh, your focus bar is full, bro. Did is you know it? that? Is it? That's what it just told it me. Can be, it can Welcome be. Welcome back to Boom. Could have lied. <laughs> I just wanted to do this fight scene real quick. We missed you. Okay. As soon as we're done with this fight scene, we'll call it. We'll a call night. it a night.
Call it a day. Call it a. Call it what you want. What you really, really want. Just call it what you want. What you of the people? Anybody? It's like rain on your wedding Cameron, day. Cameron, didn't your sister know Mark Foster? No, my cousin. Oh, your uh, cousin. My cousin lived in California for a while. Can I tell a really? And he used to party no. with Mark Foster. That's cool. It is really cool. And, he, and then he was like, oh, dude, I got this, uh, this gig uh, in Europe. I'm about to go on tour with my band. And he was like, oh, shit. And then... That's legit. Foster the People's right. amazing. Yeah. Oh, my talk my way on That's pretty cool. Couch. What's your story, Stuart? You can tell it now. Yeah. So, um, my wife... My wife? My wife! My used wife. to live in California for yeah. a little bit. Uh, it was like a few years ago. Anyway, you know the, the, the main character from that Disney movie, Luck of the Irish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her and her sister were, to, were out at a bar and ran into that guy. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And all he's my. He's got to be like 35 now. Like. Yeah. Well, all my wife remembers is that uh, meeting him and that uh, him and her sister were like really getting into a conversation. And, and then she kind of like loses track of time and then turns back around minutes later. And her sister is just pantomiming, fisting. Like, violently. Please. She's explaining what? the concept of fisting to the guy. <laughs> That's freaking great. It's hands down That's my favorite amazing. celebrity story. So, punching. And, and also, can I just revise the start of your story? Uh, do we remember the guy from Smart House? Yes. That's because the Luck dude. of the Irish was dumb and Smart House was amazing. And he was in both. Fight okay, me? Okay, same guy. <laughs> IRL. You didn't so, like you liked Luck of the Irish? Yeah, I did. Oh. Do you remember the guy from Eddie's Million Dollar Cookoff? Yeah, he worked at a Jimmy John's in Denton. No way! I heard about that. Yeah, like I've actually seen him with my own two eyes working at the Jimmy John's. That's awesome. That's depressing. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, like, he went movie? to school at UNT. Yeah, he was going to school at UNT and he was working at the Jimmy John's like there, like right on campus. Who's that one really? Fucking famous guy, Jason something. Statham? Statham? No. <laughs> Momoa. No. The <laughs> guy, he lives in Denton. Oh, Sig Seagull. 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 No. No. Not no. Jason Steven Seagull. Earl. <laughs> My name is Earl. We were right? Uh, Jason yeah. Sudeikis. No. What is the jo guy who plays Earl in My Name is Earl? Oh, okay. That guy. Johnny Tsunami. The guy who, uh. The guy who was the. The demon in Dogma. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. What? He lives in Denton. Yeah, he does. Like, full oh. time. <laughs> Just kind of wanders around. Also, all the the characters of Supernatural uh, live in Austin. Yep. Live in Austin, Texas, yeah. Yeah, Jensen Ackles, like, owns a bar, brewery. Yeah, he just opened up there. a brewery. Down in, there. In Austin. I, I knew people who, um, uh, I used to work for Favor, the delivery company, when I lived in Austin. And uh, I knew other favor runners who actually delivered to, um, uh, not Jensen, uh, Jared Padalecki. They just like showed up in this like penthouse apartment thing, and he was like, "Hey, thanks for my Chinese food." Like that's pretty sweet. They just fucking Jared Padalecki. Wow. All right. Weird. Well, well, we can end here. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed. We'll play some more of this. We'll get it done. So long, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Boom. Uh, nah, I've been holding that in. God <laughs> damn it. My oh, ass is asleep. Yeah, my, my ass fucking... My ass hurts... See? That's a good. That's my, a good. My ass hurts worse than if somebody shoved a shit ton of salt.